Now that we've gone through the installation of the different types of vented closures, we're going to come here to this part of the roof and do non-vented. You can see here that the roof is closed and that we have a full bread pan at the top of our panels. We're going to do two types of ridge installation here. We're going to use foam closures and we're going to use metal Z closures. So the first is the foam closure. They come in packs of four. They're die cut to fit the panel and they have a factory applied adhesive to the rear. I'm going to put my ridge cap in place, mark my ribs, set the closures, and then we can go ahead and install the ridge cap. Okay, so what I'm doing right now is I am setting my ridge cap, making sure that it is lined up with the center of my ridge pole. I'm gonna make a note using a Sharpie on the ribs so that I know where to put the foam closure. I made my marks on the ribs and I'm gonna set my closures back about one inch. And the reason I'm doing that is when you look up at the ridge cap, you don't wanna be seeing the front of the closure. I wanna just see a shadow line. And the second reason is I don't want UV hitting the foam closures. The more exposure they have to the sun, the faster that they dry out and crack. So I'm gonna set them back about an inch. For partial panels, you can cut these with an X-Acto. With the foam closures in place, they've been set back about one inch from the marks that I made using the ridge cap as a guide. And again, I've set them back an inch so that when we look up at the roof and we look at the ridge cap, all we see is a shadow line. And the second reason is we don't want the foam closure exposed to sunlight. When exposed to sunlight, they dry out and they crack. So keeping them hidden and in shade makes for a long life, a long lasting foam closure. I'm gonna put the cap in place now and using a stitch screw through each rib, I'm gonna fasten it down. Now the ridge cap is installed. We'll take a shot from below, just looking up at the ridge line so you can see what it looks like with the foam closures installed. Now I'm gonna show you how to do a closed ridge using metallic Z. In the same way that I did for the foam closures, I put the cap in place. I made a mark on the ribs using a Sharpie and I'm now gonna set my Z trim back just about a quarter of an inch from those marks. You can see here that I've cut notches for the ribs in the Z, and I'm gonna go ahead and install it. I'm not using butyl or any other sealant on the reverse side of the Z trim because I want whatever water gets wind blown up behind it, I want it to exit the roof. And it's important to note that I'm not using the sealant because as you can see, we have a bread pan fold. If we didn't have a bread pan fold, I would be using butyl tape on the bottom of the Z trim, and I would also be sealing between the Z and the wall of the rib. You can see that there's an open hem, which is going to allow me to clip onto the Z. For the purposes of this video, obviously it's much easier because I'm working on just one side with Z. On a normal installation, you can slide the cap on in sections or slightly depress it and clip on that way. So now we have a ridge cap that is installed on the Zs. You can install a couple of pop rivets in the flange so that any water that would go through them would fall out onto the roof panel. But the installation with the Z trim is an extremely secure way of doing a hidden fastener ridge cap installation. And there you have the two types of closed ridge cap installation, foam closure and metallic Z. Clearly the metallic Z installation is a preferred method. Obviously it takes a lot more time, but it is absolutely the longer lasting preferred method. As part of the ridge cap installation, I also wanna point out that when overlapping your ridge caps, you wanna take into consideration the prevailing winds and have your join away from the prevailing wind. You wanna have a six inch overlap with two rows of sealant in between, and you wanna mechanically bring them together using stitch screws. Thanks very much for watching, and if you have any questions, please reach out to your All-American Steel rep or shoot us a note through social media.